So most uh, flat earthers uh, realize that um, gravity uh, simply destroys any notion that the earth could possibly be flat. And so those who understand this, realize this, uh, try to deny uh, that gravity exists. Uh, by which I mean they deny that there is a um, an apparent attraction between objects um, that have mass. Basically, it's all objects. They try to explain uh, the downward motion that we all experience when we drop something in a variety of ways. They also like to use uh, the phrase, you know, water finds its own level or water is always level as some kind of justification for their belief that the earth is flat. And in this video, I'd like to challenge that uh, claim a little bit and those um, explanations that they, that they offer for the downward uh, acceleration that we witness whenever we let go of um, an object. So you can see on the screen the apparatus that I'm going to use and a, a fairly short little just demonstration of water finding its own level and uh, my brief explanation of how we can explain this in terms of gravity. My question to flat earth believers and particularly gravity deniers is What's your explanation that does not invoke uh, gravity? So this is a uh, just a little question for the gravity denying people, flat earthers predominantly, but I guess there may be others. So flat earthers really like to claim that uh, water always finds its level, uh, which is true. Um, and I don't think anybody would argue with that. And they claim that this is proof of a flat earth because they misunderstand the difference between a flat and level. Level simply means perpendicular to the acceleration due to gravity. And it doesn't mean horizontal or flat in that sense. And it's easy to uh, illustrate um, water finding its own level using the kind of device that I've got set up here. So we've got two, uh, two cylinders connected by a tube with some coloured water in them. And that water um, is level on both sides. So um, although these not positioned absolutely perfectly, uh, it's really just above four on this side and just above four on this side. And we can, we can be confident that this, uh, you know, the water is the same, same height, the same level, if you like, on each side. Now my question for gravity dyes is to explain why water finds its own level. And I want to do, demonstrate water finding its own level by, if I can do this with my stroke effective hand, it will be really good. If I pinch the um, tubing together and secure it with a clip. Um, the level on both sides has gone up as you can see because a little bit of uh, water has been um, forced up the tubing by that action. 
But if I add some water to this side, we now have water not finding its own level. The water on this side much higher than the water on that side because there's no connection between them. It's been broken. And when I release the clip, this water level will drop and this will rise. And it'll oscillate a little and settle to the water being at the same level in each tube. So we'll release the clip and you can see that even without pushing it out, the water moves and finds its own level. Now this is <coughs> well known observation and the gravity deniers, uh, flat earthers will claim if you like that this is proof of water finding its own level therefore proof of a flat earth. It is proof of water finding its own level. The question is why? Why does the did the water on this side rise upwards uh, when I released the, the clip? Now to explain this in terms of gravity is extremely simple. We know that there is a constant downward acceleration acting on every molecule of water in the tube, even the water here in the centre. There is a constant downward acceleration. And that that acceleration is proportional to the mass of the Earth and to the mass of the water molecules in the tube. When we had more water molecules in this tube than in this one, there was a greater, um, e each one was a subject, to the sa each molecule subject to the same acceleration due to gravity because there is a more molecules, there is a net greater uh, amount of force, if you like, um, due to that acceleration, due to gravity, than on this side. And that greater force pushed the water down, and because they're connected, pushed the water on this side up. Because of that motion, the water on this side moved upwards slightly higher than the water on this side, uh, creating an imbalance the opposite way. And um, so there's a slight oscillation as that evened itself out. And eventually we have the water at the same level on both sides. One explanation for things falling given by gravity deniers is that it is all to do with relative density. The uh, paper clip here is more dense than the air so when I let go of it it falls. In the demonstration with the water the air above the water here is less dense than the water. So why does the water not travel upwards? Why does it travel upwards on this side, yet downwards on this side? It obviously can travel upwards if a downwards um, acceleration is, uh, is occurring on this side. So density alone cannot be the explanation. So gravity deniers, I'd be really interested. I'm not saying you can't explain it, but I'd be really interested in hearing your explanation for why the water here 
does find its own level.